This is the sixth video in a series called The Platts Sound Recipes, and we're finally hitting what I think is the most powerful feature of the Platts Firmware 1.2. The new firmware was a gift from Emily Gillet, the founder of Mutable Instruments. In December 2022, as she was shutting down all production of modules and the company itself, this new firmware with some additional goodies for all users of Platts as well as owners and makers of Platts do-it-yourself or clone modules is absolutely incredible and turns your Platts module into a powerhouse oscillator. I call it a powerhouse because it now has 24 oscillator models, three of which can hold 32 DX7 FM synthesis sounds each. Those three models, numbers 3, 4, and 5 in the orange set of models, the new ones that came with firmware 1.2, are the subject of this video. Save to the last in the sixth video series because I think they're the most incredible asset and the reason why I started a virtual collection of Platts modules. With 32 DX7 sounds in each of the three models, orange 3, 4, and 5, that means your Platts model module can now have 96 DX7 FM sounds to choose from and even modulate between using CV signals. Also, you can load whatever 32 DX7 sounds you like into each one of those models in your Platts module from the thousands available for free online. Yeah, that's right, there are thousands of DX7 sounds to choose from free on the web. I'll put links to the sites where I found most of my sounds in the description of this video. And frankly, the only problem now is that there are too many sounds to choose from. DXSysX.com, YamahaBlackBoxes.com are just two. And then there's all the sharing happening on forums like Gearspace and Reddit. Again, I'll leave links in the description. So this brings me to the goodies that Emily Glay also coded and provided to the Platts and Platts clone community. It's a DX7 sound manager to help load new sounds easily into your Platts orange models 3, 4, and 5. I'll start here to explain how you can get 96 of your own selection of sound recipes into your Platts orange models using this web-based sound manager app. There are a few simple steps to take. Step one, first, find some DX7 sounds you like sounds that interest you. Let's start on the dxsysx.com site. You can see that there are just thousands of sounds. This actually lets you choose alphabetically because there are so many sounds and it provides a collection of others that are fairly well-known artists. So the first thing you want to do is download a few that you like. Now it's hard to know which ones you like until you download them and actually listen. So I would also recommend looking for something called Dext, D-E-X-E-D, -E which is an app that you can use on your machine to listen to sounds and even edit them. But we'll be able to preview some of these sounds within the bank manager. Step two is to navigate to the patch bank editor. This is now on a GitHub site provided by Emily Gillet and you can find it at this URL, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. So here I am on the patch bank editor, and that's step two. Step three is to load some of those files that you downloaded. So I'm gonna just load the first two that I downloaded. First set comes in, and it actually assumes that I want all of them in the bank that I will load to the plats. But the top set here is what I can choose from. So I'll choose another file to show that you can choose from multiple files at once. Now I've got two files that I can choose from and the bank that I'm ultimately going to load into my plats, into either orange model 3, 4, or 5. Okay, step 4 is to select the sounds you want to load. So the best way to do that is to preview them first. So you want to click the play button up top, not the play button on the bottom yet. That's later, and I will show you that. But the play button up top now lets you hover over the sounds to hear them. And when you hear sounds you like, you will basically drag them into your bank. So let's say I like this. Uh, something from the bottom one, one of these, one of these bass sounds. So I like this one, and that one, and these two. 
So I'm going to drag this one down here. Drag this one down here. And you can position it where you want it, which does matter because wherever it is in this list is will will be indicative of where, how you select it in your Platts module. I'll load another one and one more. So now I've got a list that I like, and you can see it pushed some of them down below off of the list of 32 that you're allowed to have. So I may as well delete those. Don't need that whistle. And now I've got those sounds that I want. Step five is optional, but I would suggest saving what you just selected if you think you're going to want to load it into a Platts again later. So you can save it in two different ways. You can download the WAV file, the audio file that plays into your Platts module which is just the download button, or you can download the SYX button so you can reload it into this little Chrome app so that you can preview the sounds again. So I did that with a selection that I've made earlier that I will use in the demo. And uh, the other optional step, what I call step six, is optional, is to print this screen so you have a cheat sheet of what the sounds are in your um, in your selected set of sounds. So what I did is I saved my sysx file and then reloaded it here by choosing it and reloading it and then printed it off so I could see what the sounds were called. So piano, orchestra, strings, I could see it and more easily select those sounds with the harmonics knob on the Platts module itself. Step seven is loading these sounds into your plats. So we're going to actually go through that process now. So let's start at the bank editor. I'm going to actually clear out what I've got here. And the way to do that, unfortunately, is too simple because if you refresh your screen, it clears everything out. But I'm going to do that. And I'm going to choose the file that I want to load in. So I'm going to navigate and we're going to start with the brass selection. And this was a selection I made the same way I showed you how you make it. And now you see it's loaded up at top. I can select from it. I can uh, also see that it loaded all of it into the bank that it's going to load. So I'm ready to data transfer this now because it's the, exactly the selection that I actually comp compiled and curated earlier. So now, this is another set of steps. You have to take a cable from the output of the machine where you're going to play this WAV file and plug it into the input, the timbre input of your Platts module. And you want to navigate on your Platts module to orange 3, 4, or 5, depending on where you want to load it. So I navigated to orange three, and now I'm going to play the WAV file. And this WAV file will actually play into the timbre input of Platts, and you'll see a set of LED pattern one at a time load up. Now the key thing here is you do not want to hear, you want to turn down the volume uh, to your speakers when you play this file. So I'm going to do that and play the file directly to the plats. And that's when you use this bottom play button. Now you can see it went all red, which means it must have been too low. So we'll turn up the volume. And that's done. So now model three actually has those sounds in it. So we can actually try to play that and see.
and that's it. That's how you load it. So you can do that with four and five as well. And now you've got 96 sounds. And of course you can use the adjustment knobs to change the sound from there. So it's pretty much infinite. Even though you have 96 starting sounds, you can really tweak them right on your Platts module and of course control them with CV. So I will actually share the three banks that I've been loading one is a set of brass and uh, percussion instruments like marimbas and vibes. One is a set of strings with basses as well. And one is a set of keys, organs and, and pianos. And the, they've been fantastic. And one of my other plates modules, I have all three and I've been using them. Um, so it may now be clear why I acquired multiple plates modules. You can imagine. I can load one Platts with 32 kicks and another with 32 snares and another with 32 hats. And that'll only take up one of the three banks of 32 in each of those. And then I can take the next uh, few banks and load them with other instruments. And you can have a virtual orchestra just with Platts modules. It's really incredible. So uh, that's it. I'm going to share both the um, links to all of the reference sites that I mentioned, as well as the patch bank editor, and I will share three of the SysX curated lists that I created. Hope this was helpful.